Hi gang, Rob here. It is the afternoon of 11 August, 2022. Coming to you today on a spectacular, bright, sunshiny, 77 degree day in Northeast Indiana. Just a little bit of a breeze blowing and deep blue skies. Coming on today with another one of my annoying top 10 lists that has nothing to do with knives or guns or Jesus. And this one does come from the perspective of a nearly 57-year-old rocker. What we're going to talk about today are the top 10 guitarists in the history of rock and roll. Completely subjective, in my opinion, and these are my criteria. First of all, Influence. How much did the playing of this guitarist influence those who came after? Second, soul. Not so much technical prowess, but technical prowess obviously is important. You got to be able to play. But the main thing is soul, emotion, depth, texture. Commercial success, obviously important, or we wouldn't even know who they are. And then the last thing, did this person write and execute licks that are timeless, that are famous, that when we hear them, we think of that guitarist, we were transported into that song. So here we go. I'm gonna list my top 10 in descending order so from 10 to 1 whatever that means <clears throat> number 10 and some of these guys died too young and their careers were too short number 10 certainly one of those older brother of Greg Allman the lead guitarist for the Allman brothers in the early 70s Dwayne Allman oh my oh my not only great by himself with the guitar harmony of Dwayne and Dickie Betts. Timeless, awesome music. Number nine, kind of a latecomer, and frankly, with far less commercial success than his skill might indicate, Joe Bonamassa. Number eight, uh, the wearer of the short pants a member of one of the greatest rock and roll bands in history, Angus Young, ACDC. Number seven, now this guy probably didn't influence a lot of people. He certainly isn't technically the best guitarist on the list, but he just happened, happened to pen and record the most famous guitar lick in rock and roll history. The signature lick of satisfaction by the Rolling Stones, the guitarist, of course, Keith Richards, 168 years old and still rocking. Number six, uh, the accompanist, the, the shredder, the soulful sidekick to my number one rock and roll singer of all time, Freddie Mercury, Brian May of Queen. Just listen to Queen for a, for a while and try to isolate the guitar. It's awesome. Number five. Again, definitely not the most technically skilled player on this list. In fact, for a lot of years, he sounded like crap. But he's the architect the designer, the visionary of the beginning of the heavy metal era. They called him Young Jimmy before he was famous because there was a more famous guitar guitarist in England named Jim who history has forgotten. But Young Jimmy was a founding member and lead guitarist of Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page, Jimmy Page. 
man, just listen, listen to those first three albums. And again, isolate the guitar. And he spawned a generation of rock guitarists that were off the hook. And one of those guys, at least as influential as Jimmy Page, is number four on my list. Recently passed, by the way. <laughs> for good or for bad, this gentleman spawned a, a subgenre of rock and roll in the 70s and 80s that was imitated ad nauseam. And none of the guys who did it are going to be on this list, by the way. But there was nobody who ever sounded like him before, and none of the imitators sounded like him after. Founding member, namesake, and lead guitarist for Van Halen, Edward. Van Halen is number four. Number three. Number three. Hailing from Texas who my first AA sponsor actually met in an AA meeting in Fort Wayne, Indiana in 1989, I think. Oh. He, might, he maybe should be higher on the list, but number three, one of the most technically skillful and soulful guitarists that ever lived. He went home to be with the Lord, I think, in the early 90s. Stevie Ray Vaughan. Which brings us to number two, who number three covered quite often. Again, a, a, a young man who died way too young and certainly influenced a generation of guitarists. Jimi Hendrix, the only African-American on the list. Jimmy number two. Before we get to number one, let's look at the honorable mentions in no particular order. First of all, from the James Gang, from a solo career, and from Eagles, Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Funk 49, and a whole bunch of Eagles songs. Next guy on the honorable mention list, you may have never heard of, but you know is playing, if you ever listen to Steely Dan, and if you know a little bit about Steely Dan, uh, sort of the leaders of that band were Donald Fagan and Walter Becker. They used an ensemble cast of studio musicians they pulled from other genres. This guy from the jazz world, He's all over the album Asia and several other uh, several other Steely Dan songs, and you can always pull his plan out. Super accurate, technically perfect, unbelievable tone. Larry Carlton. Larry Carlton. Next on the list. And probably, again, a better player than his place on the list, but just too small of a catalog of music mostly for legal reasons. Lead guitarist and player of many other instruments for the band out of Boston. Boston, Tom Scholes. And here's a guy most of you would not think of. I didn't think of him until I saw him live and started to dig back in the archives of his music. Not only a hit maker, not only a great songwriter, but an awesome session musician, a preferred session musician, and even live addition to the band of the Edgar Winter Group, founder at age 16 of the, the band known from Hang On Sloopy fame, the McCoys, had one really large hit as a solo act, Rock and Roll Hoochie Coo still playing today with his solo band and also with Ringo's All-Stars at county fairs across the Fruited Plain from Ohio, Rick Derringer. Just look him up on YouTube and be amazed. And then last, bandmate of Eric Clapton in 
the Yardbirds, then from the Jeff Beck group, hits too numerous to mention, and an awesome technical player with a lot of soul, Jeff Beck. And then I gave it away, didn't I? Who have we not heard on this list? In my opinion, at number one, the greatest guitarist of all time. In fact, his technical imperfection gives him his nickname. Certainly, not a metronome. Didn't keep time very well. But he has soul in spades. Whether he's playing rock and roll or whether he's playing the blues with BB. A white guy from England. The greatest guitarist of all time. Not only in rock and roll, but maybe in blues. Eric Clapton. The GOAT. That's my list, guys. I look forward to reading the comments of this video because I know I have an audience that's going to have lots of opinions. Who did I miss? Who did I include that doesn't belong in the list? I'm sure you will tell me and I'll look forward to hearing it. That's all for this one. Grace to you and peace, my friends, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember, the word is sharp. I will talk to you soon.